The 1C ERP General Workspace is fully customizable by the user. The user interface features are implemented directly into the 1C platform. You don't need to buy, install or develop any new components yourself. You can run 1C software from laptops, tablets and smartphones. You can choose the layout of the navigation panels and change it to suit your needs. You can adjust the list of functional modules shown in the main navigation panel on the left. You do this by selecting from the list of available modules according to your role in the organisation and your rights in the system. You can specify a list of frequently used commands in the quick menu by selecting from the available list. You can easily navigate between the various forms you have open using the navigation tabs. As you can see, the user interface presented on the screen can be adjusted by the user to make it easier and more comfortable to use. You can start working from the simple quick menu window and search for the function you need or you can add the most frequent functions you use to your favourites list and select it from there. You do this by clicking on the star icon. The system also tracks all your activities and allows you to take a few steps back if required. You do this by clicking on the scroll icon. Let's take a look at the list of articles as a starting point for a demonstration of how you can work with the master data in the system. In the articles window you can search, filter, list or define a personalized structure of items using the hierarchical folder list on the right. If you look at the folder groups of articles on the right you can see the related articles in the list on the left hand side. If you are not completely sure that the article you are looking for is in the selected folder group, you can uncheck the Hierarchy of Articles box and the search will then include the entire catalogue of articles. The column headings in the left part of the screen can be used to sort the articles list quickly. If you begin typing in the search field, the system immediately prompts you with suggestions. If you cannot find the target article, you can expand the search by using additional filters using the More button. You can configure the list of articles you frequently work with by setting the filters and then saving the settings in the system for future use. This allows you to quickly apply frequently used groups of settings by selecting them from a list. At any time you can export the list of articles to an external file. To do this you use the More button and select the columns to include. Let's look at the general master data view available for each article. You can open the specific article data record directly from the list of articles or alternatively from a document line. You will then see the article master data window. You can see the article code and two fields with the name of the article, the work name for internal use and the print name for the paperwork. These two name fields can contain different languages. There is also a description and a diagram of the article. Any language can be used in the description field. By clicking on the accounting information tab you can see additional information relevant to stock movements and reporting. These settings can be modified by users with the appropriate access rights. You can view or modify the parameters of each article by clicking on the More button and selecting the mode that allows for modification of the values in the fields. To prevent accidentally changing the data, you need to switch this mode on before you can make any changes. You can expand the general article master data by attaching external files or by directly creating additional data fields. Some of the most important data for each article is also available directly from the article window using the links across the top of the window. 
For example, the available stock remaining can be checked. Click the link and you can see the available stock report for the item. The logic and layout for maintaining the article data are the same for all master data files. This makes the system easy and intuitive to use. Let's take a look at the list of customer orders now. We can access the customer orders list either from the navigation panel within the sales module or alternatively by using the quick menu method as before or it can be added to the user's list of favourites. You can use the various filters to select the orders of interest to you. For example, orders that you have initiated personally. You do this by filtering the list using your name. Then you can only see the orders that you personally have created. Once you find the order you need, you can open it by double-clicking the line. You can also use quick filters selected directly in the customer orders list. To do this, you select a field and then right click and you can see the quick filters menu. For example, you can select to view all orders created on a specific date. You can select to view all orders with an equal value with reference to a chosen parameter. If you need some additional information about an order, you can click the particular data field. For example, if you double click on the customer order field under the current status heading, you can obtain a progress report for the order. As before, you can always export the selected document list out of 1C using one of the many common formats. You can also quickly print paper forms for the customer order and begin the creation of follow-up documents according to the workflow plan you are following, for example by creating the sales order. The process for managing documents in 1C is very easy and time efficient. Let's now create a new customer order to demonstrate some common methods of working within 1C. By pressing the Create button, you can get a new customer order form and you can then start to complete it. All the fields that need to be completed are marked with an underline. The first field is the customer. One of the features of 1C is that you can use a variety of methods to complete this field. You can start typing the customer name and the system prompts you with suggestions to select from. If you are unsure that you have identified the correct customer from the list, you can select Show All and use filters and search functions to identify the correct customer. You will see that some of the fields have been completed automatically. This means that some information from the customer master data, for example sales terms and agreements, are established for this customer. The data in these fields can be changed if required, for example legal entities, where a customer has more than one. When all the required fields on this main tab have been completed, we can go to the goods tab. This is where we enter the list of articles for delivery to the customer. There are also a few different methods of data input for this section. You can complete the order list by typing the product name with the system prompting in response to the first few letters typed. You can also upload a good specification directly from an Excel sheet if it contains the required ID field. Alternatively, if you have a large order with many lines, you can use the batch pickup function. This takes you to the special workspace designed for picking goods into the customer order. This screen has additional search functions and other information, for example, available stock. When you select an item, the system asks you to specify the quantity and allows you to adjust the price and apply a discount if required. You also specify the shipment date at this stage. After confirmation of the item, this product is added to the customer order and you can continue with the next selection. When the customer order is complete, you can either save it as a draft, in which case it is not live in the system, or you can post it in the system, in which case it becomes a live order and the system will initiate all the related activities for its fulfilment. 
The working methods and practices shown here in relation to customer orders are also used to manage other documents in the system. The last item in today's demonstration is the generation of sales reports. We can access the reports area using the quick menu. A report in 1C means a dynamic snapshot generated by a query to the database and is not stored in the system once it has been closed. The report data is limited by the user-defined parameters and values. For example, we can look at a gross profit of enterprise report. We simply look at the report for the whole year without setting any other filters. Click on the Generate button and the system will display the information. The report data sheet looks and works very much like an Excel spreadsheet and can be exported out of 1C in this format. You can also easily select a range of cells in the report and copy and paste them into an external file. You can of course also work with the data directly on screen. As you can see, the data is displayed by organisation and also split further by business subdivision and again by managers. If you go to the Settings button, you will find a range of Report Builder options to create many different types of reports without the need for advanced programming skills. You can create and save as many settings templates as you need. You don't need to recreate all the settings every time you generate a report. The data is presented according to pre-configured rules. Further information is available directly from this screen. For example, double-click on the data field of interest and the system offers additional parameters for further analysis. For example, utilization by days. The system then displays the report with the additional information in a new window. And again, from this new window, you can select a data field of interest and explore the data in even more detail. This drill down function is very popular in all 1C solutions. Users like this means of analysis because they can track data through the entire system. In summary, the report builder function within 1C allows you to access the data that you need quickly and easily. It can be used to create your own reports or to customise existing reports in the system. This concludes our initial demonstration of the 1C interface and the most common user functions in the system. This video is the first in a series and is intended as an introduction to the basic concepts and features of the 1C software. We will continue with a further exploration of the various functional modules in future videos and webinars. Thank you for watching.